Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back in the town, and I've started on something you guys have been asking about for quite a while now, and I've been talking about it, but I've kind of put it off. But yes folks, we are starting the military base. So I've got quite a bit done here today, this is probably going to be a several part series uh, to finish this whole thing because it's going to be pretty massive. So we're going to do that, I'll show you the progress I've made here today. I've got a new vehicle and I've been sent a uh, TAC helicopter that looks really cool in the base, so we'll go over that. Now if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic, if you want to hit that thumbs up button, it helps my channel out a tremendous amount. The support has been amazing the past couple weeks on Scrap Mechanic, so uh, see if we can keep that up. Now one more thing I'm going to have, I'm going to have a little poll uh, for the drag strip name. I've taken some suggestions, so if you want to vote on that, and we'll name the uh, drag strip from the last town episode. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop right in and we'll start going over all the cool stuff in the military base. Alright, so it is time to tour the military base. Now, I do have a, a new vehicle here. It's a little big. I'm trying to adjust the size. I wanted to use these big off-road tires and make a cool Jeep that we can drive around. Uh, yes, it does look fairly similar to our Apocalypse Jeep we have, but there's uh, several pretty big differences uh, with the pipe pieces, the suspension setup. Uh, the seats are a little bit lower. Uh, it drives really good. I did have to use uh, one suspension glitch in there to get it to turn a little bit better because there's not much clearance in the uh, wheel wells. But really happy with the way it came out. Uh, I might try the smaller tires again, but like I said, it just it didn't look right. Like I picture big beefy off-road tires on it. But yeah, here's the base, or at least what I've gotten done on the base so far. Now, the base itself does not have a name. I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Now, I do not want to call it like Komodo Base. I, I don't want my name in this one. Uh, I've already named enough stuff after me. I just want an actual cool, maybe a unique name for the base. So we're probably going to stick it up on this board here. So comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. We'll probably have a vote on it uh, after I find the uh, ones that I like. So we'll probably stick it in here or I've got another sign on the inside. I don't know, I think it would look better on the outside, so we'll do it right there. Uh, you've got an American flag over here. You've got these massive walls. Now, these walls are really awesome looking. You've got the beams. Uh, I think they're too thick on the uh, concrete here. You've got the, what looks like barbed wire on top. It kind of slants out. Uh, these things would be uh, pretty hard to climb, so you've got that. You've got a little gatehouse here. Now, this, this wall, it, it's a, a little tricky thing to uh, work with. We had to glitch weld it into the ground uh, because this was going to take forever to actually build the whole thing. So we glitch welded it in. It's not complete yet. The other side, uh, I want to extend it some more. So I don't know. We'll see uh, what we do here. So let's go over here. Now we've got a gate guard. He's going to open up here. And we've got two gates. We've got a like a gate where you get in and this will be the gate to leave the base. So let's go in. We're just going to open both of them here. These are really cool. Uh, Non-Newtonian made the gates. So let's go ahead and flick the switches here. Now look at that. I love how it actually looks like it's rolling back. Uh, it's got the wheel on the front here. It's got some barbed wire. Uh, that is uh, really awesome. So yeah, you've got the gate keeper here. There's also a little tower over here that could be another gate guard. Uh, maybe we'll hook that up over there. I don't know, it's kind of weird because I had to keep everything separated here. And that's the only way this gate house over here would actually work if it's connected to the gate and the uh, tower isn't. So uh, we'll see what we're going to do there. So let's hop back into here and we're going to drive through the gates. Kind of a tight fit. Uh, this Jeep's a little wider than I intended it to be, but yep. Yeah, we just cleared. That's good. So yeah, here's the inside of the base. Now I know it does look a little bit bare. We're still working here. We've got plenty of area so let's go ahead and go over the back here. This is the uh, one of the guard towers, so we can walk up into it. It's got a little radio up here, got a little place to sit. It's got a nice view of the uh, front of the gate here, so if for some reason trouble's happening. I don't really know what enemies would uh, surface in Scrap Mechanic. Maybe it's farm bots, I don't know. So uh, he can report in everything he sees. He's got a couple little lights up there, like spotlights. So anyways, let's go down here. Now this is like the main area. I'm debating on what's going to go into the center here. I thought maybe like a little training area, like an obstacle course, but I also thought maybe we'll stick to HQ, like the big command center in the front. I don't know yet. So uh, this sign might disappear. Uh, that's I switched it to the outside, but 
I don't know, it kind of looks good here too. Maybe we'll make two signs. So you've got that. Now there's nothing to the left. Uh, to the left, that's where I'm going to have to decide. Uh, that was the other option for maybe the HQ going over there. We need a shooting range. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see in the base, this is going to be uh, more like a universal base. It's not going to be like, oh, it's just Army or it's just Air Force. It's going to have a little bit of everything. So yeah, over here, these are the uh, barracks. Uh, they're both exactly the same. I just duplicated it. So uh, it's mounting points about right there. Now we're gonna go in. It's a pretty simple setup. Double doors here. You've got nothing but bunk beds. You've got these little army chests here. And let's see, nothing's on this side. I thought about putting some rec stuff, uh, like some recreational, maybe a, a TV or something. But then I realized all the pictures I see, everything's, uh, everything's pretty straightforward in these uh, barracks. It's pretty much just bunks. So I didn't put bunks. I even I, I don't even think some of these have windows in it. So I don't know. I, I like the windows. The building looked a little plain without them, but uh, those might even be a little bit unrealistic. But yeah, it's gonna stay really plain in here. Uh, this could be more like basic training. So I'm pretty sure they don't have some of those amenities in their barracks. So maybe we'll have. That's why I was talking about the uh, training field. Maybe right across. Now in here, this is the uh, like the little bathroom shower area so you've got all this in here uh, fairly detailed got your showers toilets there's a duck toilet paper got the works in here probably never go into that room ever again so I've got that you've got some uh, little lockers now normally I think they keep all their stuff in these uh, little foot lockers here this maybe this will be where the towels are for the uh, the showers and all that other good stuff so anyways we're gonna close that uh, all the controllers and stuff, they're actually hidden on the back side. It looks like a control panel on the back. And like I said, this is the uh, same exact barracks right here. So you can open that up. Same setup, just saved it on the lift. I might actually put this on the workshop. I don't know if you guys are uh, interested in having stuff like the buildings. I know I have a lot of fun buildings on my workshop, but I don't know if this is something you guys would want to have. Maybe you can build your own army base, say you can't run this map. Uh, you can go in there and do that. Now the back side of the base is actually going to be the Air Force side or the uh, the airstrip, the hangar, and any helicopters or airplanes, or well, I should probably say jets, uh, that I build will go back here. So you're seeing the fence. It's not complete. Uh, you can see where the wall is not complete on the other side. Those I believe are going to actually intersect and meet up. That's why I haven't finished it yet because I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do in that area. Now we're gonna drive up here, I believe, yeah, we're in the right lane. Uh, there's a sensor here to the side, picks up, lifts the gate. We're gonna drive through. Now the gate's got a little bit of a delay and it'll close itself. The other side, if you wanna get out, you can see the uh, sensor set up here. Now we've got two more guard towers. I imagine uh, most of the pictures I see of bases, it's really layered, like everything in the base is layered. You've got like the outer walls, you've got fences on the inside. And I figured there would be a little extra security uh, considering this is going to be the airfield, you've got a lot of expensive equipment here. So, okay, as far as the airstrip itself, I haven't quite finished the uh, actual strip. I don't know how far down I want to go because I got to keep in mind I'm going to have to fence it in uh, just to make it look somewhat realistic. That is the uh, attack helicopter. That is by Ruben Choa. Uh, we'll go over that here in a second. It's really neat looking. It's all completely out of vanilla. I know some people had some concerns when I did my last viewer creation episode. Uh, me using mods. I don't use mods to build with in here. Now, if I have viewer creations that use mods, I'll go ahead and spawn them in, but they don't stay in. So don't worry about not being able to run the map because I try to keep it as friendly as possible. But anyways, here's a little parking lot for the airstrip. Now you come out here. Here's the strip itself. Uh, like I said, it's not all the way down. I've got a straight shot. It's a nice area. I can go down as far as I need for the airstrip, nothing's really in the way. You can see the rocks actually out of the way and that little hill with the rocks is out of the way. So we just gotta keep pushing on and making it go down. And then I have to see if I wanna make like the fence here, if I wanna actually put the concrete wall around it. And that concrete wall is it's pretty intense. There's a lot of parts on it and I was a little afraid of lag. So we'll see what we're gonna do there. Now here's the one hangar I have. I might build one more hangar off to the left here or we might just have the one, I'm not sure. I would love to have doors for this thing. Like, that would be awesome, but that would be a absolute nightmare of a system because you'd have to probably make them layered. 
uh, with like the piston arms. And that's going to be a lot of bearings. And that's going to be a, a really heavy, big object that's going to need to slide all the way to the center uh, from each side. And I don't really think that's possible. So the hanger itself is going to probably stay open. Now, if you watch my scrap mechanic videos or if you've been a, a fan for a while, you probably notice this hanger looks fairly similar to the one that's in the other town. Uh, it pretty much is the same design. Changed up some colors, tweaked a couple little things here. And I don't know, I think I'm going to add some maybe equipment and some refueling things here in the back, but uh, we'll see what we're going to do with it. But I think it looks good. I think the paint job matches the airfield. I looked up a bunch of pictures of uh, military style hangers. Now, I kind of wanted to do the little dome hanger, but I went against it because that's a really awkward shape to get with the blocks and that would probably take forever. There, there would just be an episode about, hey, look at the uh, dome hanger I built. So that's why I decided to go with the uh, more traditional hangar over here. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and check out the attack helicopter here. Alright, this is the attack helicopter. This is by Ruben Choa. Now this thing looks really cool. It reminds me of a patchy and I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, the only thing I think that might be missing, uh, a lot of times that patchy has like a little dome uh, for a radar. But other than that, this thing looks really cool for vanilla parts. So what we've done here, now he says this is an attack helicopter, it's not a special model, it's just a mix of some different ones. Uh, he's got a little suggestion here for hot bar items, so we're going to actually change the uh, controls a bit, and I'll try to match them here, and we'll see how this works. Uh, he's got the controls down here after you uh, change them on the hot bars, so I'm going to go ahead and change those and see how this whole thing works out. I believe we're going to be using the uh, mixture of the WASD and the arrow keys. So let me go ahead and give you guys another little view of it. Uh, just kind of get a sense of how big it is. It's actually really huge. You've got that. You've got these little blinking uh, logic gates. I'm not sure what they're actually doing. They might just be on a, looks like they're on a sensor. It just kind of blinks. And uh, yeah, that's a spider web. Wow. That's a, uh, that's fairly impressive. This kind of looks like one of Moonbo's spider webs. I don't know. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and uh, try this out. How do we get in? And oh, well, that's a neat door. Uh, okay, this kind of gets you into the back. Now, I think, if I'm correct, the pilot's always in the second seat. The gunner's in the front seat. Uh, I don't know. Does the gunner, can we get into that? Oh, we can. Okay. Question is, does the gunner have some sort of controls? This might be kind of cool. Ah, uh, this is really cool. Okay, the gunner does have control of the little gun turret up here at the front. Uh, the three key closes it. That's just a neat little detail. That's uh, really cool that he did that. So let's go ahead and close that. I'm ready to fly this thing. So I guess I need to hop in the side door here, which we opened up. And can I just hop right in? Okay. Uh, it's got a little bit of a crew storage here. And oh, oh boy. That's a, that's a lot of thrusters. I'm probably going to crash this thing. Uh, so yeah, don't let my flying uh, give you an impression on how this thing actually flies. Because it probably flies relatively well, it's just my uh, my flying ability, which is very limited. So yeah, it's got a really mean, aggressive look. You can see the rockets on the side. Uh, I think we're ready to go here. Let me try to zoom out just a bit. This is going to be kind of awkward with the camera. Uh, this will be kind of cool though. I can give you guys a really good view of the base. Well, okay. Alright. One. Okay, there's the uh, rotors. Okay. What's two? Two is a... Is that a hover? Okay. Alright, gotta get used to this. Okay, looks like our left arrow is like a pitch, which these are actually the- Oh no! Oh no! Come on, get off the ground! Get off the ground! Here we go! Here we go! Trying to figure this out, okay. Alright, so the arrow keys are actually your pitching. You've got the uh, pitch up, pitch down. How do we actually get it off the ground is the question. Uh, I know it does it. I gotta figure that out though, That's that's the tricky part. Alright, I figured it out. I'm completely stupid. I was reading the instructions and it's the space bar. I've uh, switched it so the space bar actually picks us up. So let's try this out. Let's see how balanced this thing is. I'm always really concerned. You get that top rotor going and it's spinning in one direction. And I guess you could say the back rotor is kind of countering it, but I always think that it's still going to fall over. Now, it seems like WASD, you've got like some pitching motion. Uh, it kind of spins it to the left and to the right, but the actual, okay, the actual pitching, it seems to be the arrow keys. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Maybe we won't crash. 
And oh, look at that shadow. That looks mean. That is awesome. This is this is a cool chopper. And like I said, this is vanilla parts. That's uh, so he's done a really great job with the shape. Now it is made out of wood parts, of course. You want your flying creations to be as light as possible. I've done the same thing with my private jet, my biplanes. I don't think I've ever created really much of a working helicopter. Uh, as I'm kind of ashamed of that, that I haven't done that. But, oh, this guy kind of inspires me. Maybe we should uh, try to create one ourselves here. I will link this uh, guy's workshop, uh, Ruben. I keep saying that guy. should be saying Ruben. Uh, we'll link his workshop in the description. So if you want to download this uh, TAC helicopter... Uh, you can see the part of Komodoville. Of course, we're in the new map of Komodoville. This is like part two. Uh, some people have been asking about the old part of Komodoville, and we are going to go back to it. I actually think I'm going to hold the, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and give it away. Everybody knows it's coming. I'm going to be doing a Christmas festival, and I think I'm going to hold it in the old part of Komodoville because it just feels right in that side. It's a little more cluttered. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and let's try to pitch forward. Let's try to get some speed here. What does the inside look like? And Oh. I can't see a thing in here. Okay. Uh, man, I really need to change that glass texture. I know it's another thing I've talked about doing quite a bit. Need to commit. Need to commit to it and do it. Okay, let's try swinging this thing around. This thing actually flies relatively, relatively easy. Uh, whoa, oh, as I say that, I'm gonna hit a tree, ain't I? Come on. Okay, here we go. Gotta pick ourselves up. That was my fault there. I stopped, uh... I, kinda rem I gotta remember, I keep thinking it's gonna lift itself up. Let's see if we can get out of this conundrum here. Nope. I pinned myself to a tree. Yeah, I stopped hitting the space bar there for a second. I gotta remember, you've gotta keep hitting it. It does have a, uh, a hover mode, but that hover mode is not gonna fully pick up the helicopter. So you kinda have to keep spamming the uh, space bar to keep it up in the air. Which is actually not a bad way to make this thing fly, so you can ascend and descend a little bit easier uh, instead of just a lot of times you'll have everything just on one button and it just keeps it up but I think this is actually a better way to do it I like this so uh, I'm gonna have to look at this control scheme a little bit more maybe I can implement this in one of my creations even like a, I think this will work on a uh, actual airplane or something or a jet so yeah this is cool I definitely want to thank Ruben for sending this to me uh, I'm tell you I'm not the best flyer but I think I could really get used to this thing. This thing flies really nice, really stable. So yeah, I just want to thank him for the incredible helicopter. Alright, we're going to go in for a landing here. I'm not going to go try to land on the helipad because that thing's a little too small. I need to make it bigger. Uh, you can see the uh, view of the base from up here. It's going to be really cool once it's complete. Uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, it's fantastic that you guys enjoy my scrap mechanic videos like you do. Uh, we will be doing some more My Summer Car coming up really soon. Uh, the reason I didn't do an episode on the weekend, I'm setting up the racing wheel. I have a G27, and I want to do the rally that way because I think it's going to be a whole lot easier. So we're going to do that. We're going to do more Scrap Mechanic. Uh, definitely, this is going to be a several-part series. Uh, we're going to try to start doing some Christmas stuff very soon. I've got a birthday coming up. I should probably quit talking while I try to land this thing because I'm going to want crashing. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> okay, I might be able to land in an open field. I don't know if I can get... I'm trying to get to the la airstrip there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up, up. Here we go. Here we go. Kill it. Kill it. Nailed it. Um, well, not really, but close enough. Close enough. That's, that's about as successful of a landing you're going to get for me. So you guys better be happy about that. Anyways, guys, that's going to about wrap it up for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, if you've got any suggestions for the base or if you want to send anything to the base, I'm going to flash my email up on screen right now. But anyways, guys, hope you have a great Tuesday, and we will see you guys tomorrow with more gameplay footage. Thank you.